the music videos go one of two ways. You're, 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 per, you're blessed with luck or you're cursed with bad luck and they don't change. with SoundersFC.com here in Gasworks Park alongside, we'll call him season ticket member Pete Stewart, right? That is an absolutely correct uh, description, yes. And you are also the lead singer of Grandma Train, and uh, we're just, just about ready to wrap up your shoot of, uh, of the music video for The Last Sound. Tell me, tell me how this all came about. Well, uh, we wrote this song, uh, I don't know, I guess like three months ago, not that long ago at all, actually. And uh, it was very much inspired by just the feeling at the matches. And um, I just kind of thought, you know, I feel like this is, it just sounds like a Sounders match. So we uh, gave it to Matt. <laughs> and um, once we had it recorded, you can take as much credit as you want. It's all right. No, none. And uh, I think he, he shot me an email back within like minutes, like, you know, just real positive feedback. And uh, next thing we knew, it was going to get played at the match. Then and, uh, it was showing up uh, all over the internet, and then it was on the news, and then uh, Drew Carey posted on Twitter that he loved the song and wanted to make a proper video for it, his words. And uh, within a matter of like a week or two, I was on the phone with this director, Nick, who called me, who's um, done like U2 and Jane's Addiction and um, Wolf Mother, all these huge bands, and just said, hey, Drew wants me to make this killer rock video for you guys. I love the song. I love the whole thing. So I'm going to come up to Seattle and do it. And here we are. What does that mean to you? I mean, to have, you guys have put so much effort into, into what you guys have done in your in your previous career, I guess would be the way to put it. Yeah. And now, and here you are here, here three months into a project and, and you're getting a, a huge producer you're working on this video tell me what that means to you guys it's it's pretty uh, mind-bending honestly you know I mean uh, I, I felt like the song was a good idea but you never know if anything's gonna come after you write a song you know you don't know what's really gonna happen and I certainly didn't envision it to going to this level you know uh, and still it's just it's it's fun to just hear it at the match and that was sort of like I was sort of my goal but to have all this happen is just like you know it's every band like dreams of having something like this happen and uh, it's cool for us because this is sort of this we had disbanded for a long time. We we started in the mid '90s, put out a couple records, played Seattle and toured a bunch, and this was sort of. Uh I don't want to say our comeback record, but sort of <laughs> <laughs> our coming back from the dead record, I guess. And uh, you know, we couldn't ask for like a better thing to happen in the middle of, of the process than this. You know, you're here with 200, 250 Sounders fans, young and old. We got some dogs out here too. I mean, yeah. uh, it's got to be fun here to see this this kind of coming together from of, of the Sounders fans and supporting it, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, one of the reasons I got hooked on going to the Sounders games last season right away is just that you know you feel this total like almost tribal community feeling being there and the, the ECS has a lot to do with that which many of those people are here which I'm a member of as well by the way um, so it's just cool like I, I feel like we got the the whole the whole vibe of, of Sounders fans here that you that you see at the matches what's it like when you hear it at the match what, what's what goes through your head when you when you hear your song being played while you're watching your team on the field it's it's kind of strange like I really I, I don't know that I've really gotten used to it yet you know I mean like I, I I've been in a conversation with someone and then it starts playing I'm like they're like you know that's your song dude right <laughs> yeah it's my song <laughs> you know it's it's really cool it's I mean who doesn't want to hear a song they wrote played at like their favorite home sports teams event you know it's so so take me back 10 years ago playing probably what you think is your last show in Germany right yep, yep. do you ever think you'd be sitting in this spot right now no I thought that was our last show ever you know um, certainly not. We uh, we made a decision about a year and a half ago. It was the first time we'd all hung out. It was just sort of a random occurrence. We thought, you know, let's just try. It sounds so typical, but like, let's just try and see what happens. You know, maybe we'd put some songs together. And uh, I, I didn't even think that was ever going to happen. Much less that we were going to be doing uh, this this big budget video and and something that was going to sort of be associated with the Sounders in the way that it has been. Tell fans where they can find the song right now. You can find it on iTunes. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, there's another a uh, number of other uh, internet outlets, and if you go to grammatrain.net, uh, all the links are right there. There you go, Pete Stewart, lead singer of Grandma Train. I'm Matt Gash, SoundersFC.com, and I've never been in a music video before, but let me tell you, it's a good time tonight. A lot of fans out here having a great time. We'll see you at the stadium. I'm Matt Gash, SoundersFC.com. Wait for the sounder. Sound the alarm. Every rival runs in.
love the Sounders. It's, it's been a great embrace for years and years. I mean, my first Sounders game was in 75. Well, I gotta hand it to Drew for uh, really stepping up and taking this, you know, to the to the extreme that it's at now. The spirit of the job has just been so high. And, um, everyone's been so cooperative and this given so much and it's just really great to, to have that kind of spirit on that hill and get it on camera. Big props to Pete too and the band just for you know involving us in this thing to begin with. You ever been in a music video before? Uh, no I haven't. I'm definitely going to use the line to pick up the chicks nowadays. <laughs> but, uh... We can't wait for our first MLS Cup because it's going to happen this year.